Namaskar, this is Dr. Tushar Shah, 22nd of July, 14th day of our program on outpatient management of COVID-19. Today, I talk about CRP, C-reactive protein. As you know, C-reactive protein is an inflammatory marker that rises early in the disease. Unlike ferritin and IL-6, which are also inflammatory markers, but rise late in the disease. CRP has two principal uses. One, to gauge the severity of the disease as fever goes along. Second, to differentiate COVID-19 from other illnesses. How do you do that? If the first few days ka CRP, that is CRP within the first three days is high, very high, like 75, 110, think of non-COVID illnesses. COVID will not cause a very high CRP to begin with. Just as COVID does not cause high fever in the first two, three days, it will not cause a high, very high CRP in the first few days. So, uh, Abnormally high CRP, think of malaria, dengue, pyelonephritis, pneumonia, etc. That is one utility of CRP, differentiating from the single reading early in the disease. The second utility is a gradually rising CRP in a proven case of COVID-19 might tell you that this patient is worsening and will probably require hospitalization. So if there is a serial rise in CRP, consider it as an indication for hospitalization one of the indications, one of the many indications. CRP must be part of the first set of blood tests that, you, that we do in a COVID-19 case, like D-dimer. So the typical first set of investigation will be CBC, CRP, D-dimer, creatinine, random blood sugar, and possibly uric acid if the patient has to be put on favipiravir. CRP, another important thing to remember is normalizes slowly. Meaning thereby that if the patient is discharged from the hospital, doing well, no fever, asymptomatic for three days, four days, and the CRP is 25, but has been coming down, don't be worried. The CRP need not be normal for several days or maybe a few weeks after discharge. So don't keep repeating CRP till it is normal. Go by the clinical features and don't make the patient worry about CRP. Well, that's all for CRP and thank you so much.